a bunch of sirens woke me up at midnight. Happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome to Story Saturday. Now, for today's episode, I want to share a story with you guys about something that happened this week on Tuesday night when I was going to bed just about falling asleep and it was coming up on midnight on Wednesday morning. So, like you guys know, I live in the state of Massachusetts and during the winter months, we have snowstorms. Now, when I was growing up, whenever a parking ban was put into effect, a tow truck would follow around a police cruiser and whatever cars were parked illegally would get towed. Every single year, they went about the same way of handling illegally parked cars by towing the people down to the impound lot and people would wake up the following morning to find that their car was gone. Now, I'm 28 years old and I've lived in the same exact town my entire life and not once can I remember them ever changing this policy. Now, for some strange reason or another, they decided to change that policy this year. There are no longer tow trucks that follow around the police cruisers. Instead, they drive around the entire city and any car that is parked illegally, instead of being towed, they sit there with these sirens blasting no matter what time of day or night it is. This happened to be the case on Tuesday night going up on midnight. I was just falling asleep and then I'll play this clip for you guys, this is what I heard outside. Now keep in mind, I did not adjust the audio at all. It is the same level for that video as this video right here, and this is also going through the closed window of the house. Now, I'm not too entirely sure if the person was not home or not, but this cop sat outside there for about 45 minutes before it sounded like he turned off the siren and then drove about 15 feet down the road before starting it up again. My whole problem with this is I can understand that the city is trying to do the people a favor by not towing them and not incurring any costly expenses of having to retrieve your vehicle from an impound lot, but at the same time, if they're going to go around around midnight and blast sirens and wake every single other person up in the neighborhood just to save some guy 50 to to $100, I think it completely defeats the point. Whenever a snowstorm is about to happen, the city does an automated robocall that informs every single resident that is here that has a landline or anybody that has registered their cell phone number with the town hall to let them know that there is a parking ban in effect. In addition, all the local news TV stations also run a banner on the bottom of the screen for the entire duration of whatever town has a parking ban and they will actually cover all the different towns that have parking bans in the entire area. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Like I said, I can't really understand this whole thought process behind that, especially in the financially troublesome situation that our city is in right now, how they wouldn't want to generate extra revenue from towing people, but at the same time want to wake up every single neighbor in the neighborhood at midnight because some person is illegally parked that might not even be home. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Let me know if they do anything like that in your town whenever there is a snowstorm coming. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see everybody on Monday for FTV Mondays. Peace.